Hello and welcome to the Married Man Gaming Show. It's short and sweet like a stubby banana. My name is Toby and today I want to show you some cool stuff on the internet. These games I'm about to show you are all still in development and are subject to change. First up, Oceanhorn 2 Knights of the Lost Realm, developed by Corn Fox. I was a big fan of the first game, it took cues from Top Down Zelda, it's very much Wind Waker meets A Link to the Past. It's not as good as either, but it's still a jolly good time. The sequel looks like it's going in its own direction with a fully realised 3D world and a new party system. It's looking very promising. You can tell it's a big step up from the first game, it has a weapon wheel and everything. So if you're looking for something to play between big Zelda releases, this might be the game for you. No word on a release date yet though. Next is a game that looks absolutely stunning. It has pixel art to die for. Hazelnut Bastille. Developed by Aloft Studio, it's much more classic top-down Zelda in style, but built for modern hardware. I'm pretty sure this game would run at 10 frames a second on a Super Nintendo. To give you an idea on what they're going for, this is a quote from the developer's website. Quote, Aloft Studio assures us that their brain-bending puzzles and fast-paced and highly tactical combat will make this a frantically hectic challenge built for the craftiest thumbs. End quote. Check out these screenshots. It screams A Link to the Past to me with its devious dungeons, a plethora of weapons and items to be obtained and many menacing bosses to be conquered. I have to admit, this game has me squirming with anticipation. You can play a PC demo now by going to their website. The final game we're checking out today is Pathway by developer Robali Robality? Robality? This is another top-down pixel art game. I'm a real sucker for those. What really impressed me about this trailer was the lighting and exotic locations on show. The combat looks to be a tactical turn-based shooter with cover mechanics, which I love. In between battles you encounter story decisions and new procedurally generated adventures. It's a pretty cool concept. It's published by Chucklefish who are supporting Switch quite a bit so let's hope it makes its way on there. And that's it for the episode. If you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. You can find me on Twitter at Toby's underscore take. That's all the words I have for you this week. See you next time.